Episode 330, Ancient Things. Juxtaposed to the magnificent appearance of the house, the interior decoration of the Lansing residence was extremely simple and could even be said to be Spartan. Aiden couldn't tell how many years of history of the ratty linen sofa had accumulated. It was falling apart in some places, with wear and models throughout. The shoe cabinet by the door, at a glance, was handmade with iron probably decades ago, but by now it was rusty. In the corner was a sewing machine that must have not only outdated himself, but likely his parents as well. The antique furnishings in the room made Aiden feel nostalgic for eras he didn't even live in. Miss Lansing warmly brought a cup of hot coffee and put it on the tottering living room table. She looked at Aiden's odd expression and said with a smile, I don't think there's a single thing in here that is younger than you are. Aiden originally wanted to say a few sharper words, but only mustered a slight, yeah, no kidding. Miss Lansing seemed amused. She laughed heartily. You young man, you seem quite honest to be a colleague of my husband, but I appreciate your character. Miss Lansing finished laughing and sighed. All these things were brought around the time that Harry and I were married. Over the years, he's always despised them and said he wanted to take them all away. If it wasn't for my insistence, these treasures would be lying in the dump right now. Miss Lansing fondled the old furniture with nostalgia and memories in her eyes. Looking at Miss Lansing's bent body and her old face that had been baptized by her years, Aiden felt pity for her. He thought of Lansing's slimy behavior with the female employees in the company every day. He felt sick. He could guess that Miss Lansing didn't know how many dirty things her husband did when she wasn't around. Aiden originally wanted to talk with Miss Lansing about what had happened the night before, but now he couldn't open his mouth. He could not bear to destroy what very well might be the last bit of good left in the poor old woman's heart. Miss Lansing, did you ever see a picture of this Lincoln fellow, the one who hurt your husband? Hearing Aiden's words, Miss Lansing was stunned at first, then angrily said, Of course not. If I had seen him, I would have likely struck him on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry to get you worked up. Aiden did not expect that simply mentioning Lincoln's name would cause such a big reaction in the woman. He helped Miss Lansing sit down and gently pinched her arm in a show of support. Miss Lansing's breath gradually calmed. Uh, Mr. Dale, don't mention it, she finally said. I'll be all right. Aiden gave her a smile and took the opportunity to say a few pleasant words. Miss Lansing's mood seemed to grow more and more relaxed in his company. After a few more minutes of conversation, Aiden had the courage to try again. But I mean, if, um, if the man didn't mean to hurt Mr. Lansing, or there were other reasons for his injury other than him, would you be able to forgive your husband's attacker? Miss Lansing didn't get overworked this time, but said angrily, The police have arrested him as the only suspect. I doubt that would be the case if he were innocent. She sighed before continuing, But I'm not an unreasonable person. If it really was a mistake, I would of course apologize to the man right away. Hearing Miss Lansing's words, Aiden couldn't help but sigh. Mr. Lansing seemed to be a jerk through and through, but his wife seemed quite sensible when push came to shove. How could two people living under the same roof have such a big gap in reason? Aiden, why do you keep asking about this Lincoln? Miss Lansing asked cautiously. Hearing the suspicion in her voice, Aiden hesitated. He had to be careful what he said, and he figured it was better to leave than to give away his hand just yet. Ma'am, if you need me, I'm free to help you with the housework. Aiden originally wanted to leave, but he had noticed that the room was in disarray, with dust beginning to collect on much of the antique furniture. It seemed that Miss Lansing was no longer able to do much by way of cleaning up. What is it you need the most help with? He asked. Miss Lansing had yet to say something in reply, but Aiden had already started cleaning. Cleaning. Cleaning ability. Plus one. Taking charge of the problem. Self-sufficiency. Plus one. Like a gust of wind, Aiden zipped back and forth across the room. Miss Lansing at first only gave a bitter smile, but soon her heart warmed to his thoughtful actions. Moving the emotions of the elderly. Influence plus one. When Aiden descended the stairs with a bag of garbage, Lena was on her way upstairs, taking the house's elevator. She and Aiden missed each other perfectly. Miss Lansing, are you okay? As soon as Lena entered the door, she checked on Miss Lansing, but was shocked to find her old neighbor in the sitting room alone. Officer Larson, what's wrong with you? Miss Lansing demanded. Nothing is the matter. You needn't look so frightened. Lena breathed a long sigh of relief, glanced around the room, and asked, Miss Lansing, 
Did a guy named Aiden come here just now? You mean Mr. Dale? Yes, why? He, he didn't do anything to you, did he? Miss Lansing's face was puzzled. Lena, dear, why are you suspicious of him? What had he done? He doesn't seem to be a bad man. He was very kind to me. Miss Lansing's shoulders rose, almost as if she were filled with pride for the young man she had just met. In Lena's heart, the flower of doubt continued to grow. How was it that her grandfather, sister, and even Miss Lansing were all of the same mind? Was no one even the slightest bit suspicious of Aiden Dale? Miss Lansing stopped praising Aiden and finally narrowed her eyes at Lena. You know, Lena, dear, I know you don't have a partner at the moment. I think Aiden would be very good for you. I'll ask him if he has a girlfriend next time I see him. If not, I'll... Seeing that Miss Lansing was sounding more and more out of tune, Lena immediately interrupted her. Ma'am, be careful. Don't get too close to this guy. I'm serious. And with this, she was ready to go back to the police department and dig deeper into what Aiden could possibly be up to. Looking at Lena's back as she scurried away, Miss Lansing sighed, feeling as though she were witnessing a new conflict. After leaving Hidden Gardens, Aiden started up the White Knight's built-in GPS and entered the address of Arkland's hospital. Larson had given him two key figures to deal with. In terms of Miss Lansing, Aiden had somewhat hit a wall and had decided to give up. His next target was the other key figure, Mr. Lansing, who was still in hospital. If the injured person himself chose not to press charges, it would be the most desirable result anyway. However, Aiden knew that it would be no easy feat to get Lansing to bow his head or admit to being wrong. But Lincoln was still waiting in a cell in the Arkland City Police Department, hoping for Aiden to clear his name. For his sake, Aiden was willing to try.